look around you. This is the hottest place to live. Brazil is it? Still, oh, the easiest place to die. It's too much. Are you okay? How come we don't get to choose where we are born? How we are born? Yet, we struggle to wherever we will find ourselves. How you want to understand? We have a long way to go. I love you. And you not even get boyfriends there, so? Hmm? No! Ha! Sis, no. Don't have a boyfriend, though. I'm just mad. Gross. I really like you. In every human being, there's a good and a bad side. Mama, I'm not going to call you. 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 I'm not going Leaving us behind, all of us. Daddy, uh, I just want smoke if I just need help. What do you like here? Yeah. Good fortune has finally the smile on us. When good fortune smiles on people, it doesn't take away their smile. Put <laughs> some. When you decide that man, you behave yourself. I can't have more, okay? Oh, I'm tired. There are some people that can act movies to, you know, a point where it will bring you to tears. Do you know that this Nigerian movie, I cried? The anxieties of a mom. Bella Okara, brilliant. She can act. I hope she got an award for this movie. So, guys, welcome to another time with the consulting. My name is Chacha Wabara. If this is your first time here, welcome to my returning subscribers and viewers. Thank you so much for keeping it real with me, Hola. So, today we'll be reviewing the movie known as Black Rose. It's a 2018 Nigerian movie directed by Oke Oku. Yeah, I hope I have it right. It has notable, I always say notable, yeah, but these are notable actors and actresses like um, Blossom Chikudeku, Ebele Okaro, Lilian Ochelon, Betty Bello, Swanky JKA. Yep. This movie started beautifully well, like amazingly well. Two boys coming back from school and they're drinking Gary and they still have to leave some for the mom and sister. You see that first scene rather, where these boys came in, we're seeing the boys, we don't really know much about them, but they're introducing their mom and their sister. We don't really know who the mom and sister is. You know, it was wonderful. Suddenly, in five minutes, we know that these boys have a mom and a sister who are struggling and that things are not too okay for them but they are happy and they are you know comfortable with what they have it's all good first of five minutes you know what's up i'm not taking you through the law of you know a boring thing that you don't even understand where it's going to and then the next thing we see is a bell carol and uh, rose doing this mama puts you know they sell food they're passing around the neighborhood where people want to buy food and then you see rose who has developed into a young lady guys are beginning to notice her silly men are beginning to try to make advances and all of that it's all there it has been presented now the movie goes further to show blossom chiku jeku rose sees blossom Chiku Jeku immediately takes um, interest in Blossom Chiku Jeku. This handsome guy, a good car, and all that. She falls immediately in love with him. And you know, the sun and the moon rose with Blossom Chiku Jeku. Chiku Jeku was just giving them money for her. Um, she was in love, and life was just about roses and all whatnot. And then we have Rose's elder sister who you know was supposedly sleeping around for little money there are scenes you know of seen scenes yeah which uh, you know it was too sudden the sex it was too sudden let's skip that the other one was blossom chuku jeku giving it his all i even did not begin to decode blossom chuku jeku's 
feelings for this right and everything that transpired after that i just did not you know expect something like that and i was like okay it was a movie that i just kept on watching like this there's this scene of abel or carol and her two daughters where she was reprimanding rose and ugo ugo was saying leave her she's not as bad as i am and all that that scene was so emotional and intense it was real i don't know how abel or carol does it but this acting was on point the girl that acted rose was awesome my makeup artist and i we just kept on looking at her yeah i was like how brilliant can this girl be like she isn't um, a popular actress now i think she's still on no. she brought it Hey, Funky JF, hey, Funky JF, it was refreshing. How can you come and be asking a girl out with all the mechanic clothes, your face, black patches and everything? You know? It was smooth, but you see, it showed the originality of the plot. Everything was in order. The lighting was wonderful. The sound was awesome. The mechanic, you know, location was wonderful you know and what, what transpired in uh, some chukujeku's house with his friends and this girl showed the extreme abuse and all that and the naivety of rose which also mirrors the naivety of so many girls in the society these days who don't know how to differentiate between what they ought to do and what they shouldn't do at all like she kept on saying mommy trust me mommy trust me mommy trust me for real when my kids tell me mommy trust me i'm not going to be listening to them i would really verify to know that you know we're on the same path together so this movie was such an emotional movie was such an emotional movie i cried like i really did cry like oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness something is happening but just catch this i'm not saying that the introduction of religious uh, beliefs and all that um is wrong in a movie but what's the theme you did not start out with you know um, introduction of religion or god this god that middle of the movie everything although she was like ah god thank you i begged you for something you did it for me but that was you know normal normal the dispensation of uh, blossom chiku Cool character how they dispensed of him like they, they didn't know what to do with this particular character so the only way to deal with this particular character was to go to god in prayer in the middle of the night blah, blah, blah. they said pray 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 and then the car hit him as he was coming oh that was where they spoiled the movie but apart from that the movie was awesome it was wonderful it would have been better if they had dealt with blossom chiku jeku's character some other way i'm not saying the use of you know religion or the use of god wasn't uh, appropriate but you know it would have been way better because hey come on that's not you didn't start that way so killing off that character like that didn't just make sense yeah I, all in all i'll be rating the movie a seven over ten they would have gotten a 10 over 10 from me but you know that's snag over there so thank you so much which brings me to the end of this movie review you can watch more of my nigerian movie reviews my korean movie reviews my chinese movie reviews you can also binge watch till i come your way next time is bye bye for me yeah bye